Now, I'd like to congratulate the members of Parliament of Canada who have not only created a parliamentary group to support the Burmese people, but also for your belief in the cause and for working selflessly in solidarity with the global movement to push for a democratic state of Burma. The passing of the parliamentary motion last year in Canada calling on your government to condemn more forcefully the systematic human rights violations by the Burmese government is a strong message. As for human rights situation in Burma, as we all know, the situations are getting worse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm encouraged that Canada has for some time now been a true friend of, of the people of Burma, who for years have yearned for peace and security in their homeland. On June 27, 2006, 50 MPs from Canada added their names and signature, a letter addressing to United Nations Security Council to add on Burma. And that was a huge, huge uh, support for us. And because of that, subsequently, uh, United Nations Security Council formally put Burma on agenda on September 15, 2006. And now today, we have formation of Parliamentary Friends of Burma, which means a lot of support. It means a lot to us, a lot of support to Burma. Please continue to inspire others and use your liberty, use your voice for the freedom of the people of Burma. The reason I am so delighted today is because our friends here will be launching uh, the Canadian Parliamentary Friends of Burma. Please let me take the opportunity to congratulate you and welcome you to the network of parliamentarian friends of Burma all over the world. The ASEAN governments have realized that the policy of constructive engagement with the Burmese regime over the years has failed. And it has failed to bring about any change for the better in that country. In fact, the military junta has used ASEAN as a shield against foreign criticism instead of addressing the genuine concerns of the domestic situation. Now recently, about a week and a half ago, the Burmese regime has asked the International Committee of the Red Cross to close five of their offices in the country. Now such acts of, of defiance against international norms and standards of human rights and democracy have made it very difficult for the ASEAN governments to continue to defend the actions of the junta. From my experience, parliamentarian caucuses make a big difference in countries where they are formed. They usually succeed in helping shape the correct policy on Burma, and they do so simply because they cannot condone injustice committed against a people by a group of brutal Burmese generals. I am therefore very excited with this positive development in Canada, which has distinguished itself as a staunch supporter of democracy, freedom and justice around the world, including Burma. Well, Prime Minister, you can certainly be assured that you'll have the support from our parliamentarians in Canada that you've asked for. And I know the people here that have uh, worked, some of them for 15 years, the Canadians on your behalf in Democracy Watch and Canadian Friends of Burma, really appreciate you making the effort uh, to come here and uh, see the work they've been doing and it helps uh, build up their morale for their continued support. It's, uh, it must be incredibly hard to have to live away from home. I can imagine if anyone in this room, if you were told you weren't able to go home now from this room and it would be a number of years before you could come back to Canada, uh, that that would be pretty uh, devastating. So uh, we know the uh, situation you're working under and behalf of, and uh, so on behalf of uh, free people everywhere in the world. Thank you for the great job you're doing and you have the support of everyone in this room.